Now, um, I have uh, the venerated professor. Um, he virtually needs no presentation. His name is uh, Professor Jean Emmanuel uh, Pondi. He has many hats, but he's here wearing the hat of the uh, vice chancellor of the ICT University here in Yaoundé. Prof, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, in the name of uh, ICT University, I would like to express our gratitude for being here. Mm -hmm. We are very happy. All right. And uh, you are not alone. You're here with uh, Engineer Daniel Moon. He's a coordinator of Microsoft Academy at the ICT University. You're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for inviting us here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Prof, uh, just how crucial is the development of ICT um, in a world like this at this age? Yes, you know that uh, in today's world, in the 21st century, it is absolutely necessary to understand that uh, the new literacy is uh, ICT uh, related. If you don't know anything about uh, computers, anything about uh, computer science, anything about uh, anything which is related to ICT uh, with regard to professions, be it in health, in agriculture, in economics, in law, in e-government, uh, you are in deep trouble because mm -hmm. that is the language of today. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to get acquainted to that. It's very impo important to master it and it's very important to be ahead of a game. Mm -hmm. And I think ICT is precisely doing that, uh, infusing ICT in all academic uh, programs and learnings and mm -hmm. professions. Okay. So that is why it's important for everyone to be acquainted with uh, that segment of knowledge mm, you're coming to us at a time when the um, gce results have been released and other public examinations and students may be asking themselves you know what next for us and uh, maybe some uh, are thinking about ict as a way out for them so i'm just going to ask uh, engineer daniel mune here who's a coordinator of uh, microsoft academy at the ict university what are some of the um, areas you cover at the ICT University, or what are some of the areas that could potentially be of interest to successful candidates at the GCE and, of course, the baccalaureate examinations? Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity to present our programs uh, at the ICT University. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we have mainly two faculties the business and management uh, faculty, that's the faculty where we are training our future managers, and then we have the ICT faculty where we are training our future engineers. Mm -hmm. Now, the main programs that we're covering, well, they go from um, artificial intelligence, uh, nano robotics, uh, uh, networking and security. And in our BSMS faculty, well, we have marketing, we have management, we have entrepreneurship, which actually is one of the core professional skills that are in demand on the market these days. So mm -hmm. if you ask me now, why should somebody choose ICT University? You have to keep in mind that whenever you have a GC, okay, you're trying to build a career, and one of the things that you're looking for, it is to be a professional. So you will need the academics, the academic knowledge, and you also need, well, the actual industry knowledge. Mm -hmm. And there in ICT University, we're trying to build uh, programs that actually uh, uh, merge the two type of skills, mm -hmm. the academics and the industry. And that's what we are actually why we are the leader on the market these days. Mm. And what are some of the job uh, opportunities that, uh, you know, uh, people who definitely take on ICT as uh, uh, studies would, uh, you know, um, can, uh, that can afford them in the future? Yeah, there are plenty of jobs, especially when it comes to the use of ICT in all uh, academic disciplines. So you have, for instance, software engineer, network engineer, business analyst, uh, marketing, uh, e-marketing, especially when you're doing digital marketing. Webmaster. Mm -hmm. Webmastering. Uh, we have entrepreneurship because, I mean, well, we are not really looking just for people to get jobs, but we also want to build future leaders, people that will be able to create jobs tomorrow. And then this is with actually one of our main targets, making sure that when somebody actually leaves the ICT university, he will also not just somebody that has skills, but that can also build and through the academy. Yeah, solutions. Mm. Okay. And through the academy, like uh, Prof said. Now, Prof, what's the relationship? Can you establish the link between the ICT and the um, achievement of the sustainable development goals? Yes, as you know, there's a lot of um, emphasis today on uh, renewable energy. Mm -hmm. Because um, the new energies 
will sustain uh, the pace of economic uh, performance. Mm -hmm. uh, you need new energy, solar energy. You need uh, uh, an economy which is powered with wind. And you need, you need new trends. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the, the trend of the future. And that's why we have laboratories at ICTs. Mm -hmm. It's not just theoretical training. The good thing about ICT is that you have hands-on uh, training and you know exactly what to do in those domains. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it is clear for Africa, for instance, that we have the largest amount of hours of uh, sun, su sunshine mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason why we should be short of energy, of electrical en energy, for instance, mm -hmm. since we are the most uh, uh, exposed in terms of sunlight. So that's another idea. When you get to ICT, you are trained how to produce those kinds of energies as well. Mm -hmm. So you, as he was saying, you become an entrepreneur and you create jobs rather than are looking for a job, mm -hmm. as is usually the case in most places. You are a job seeker, but there you, we insist that you are a job producer. Mm. Oh, now, um, Engineer Daniel Mune, coordinator of the Microsoft uh, Academy, it doesn't suffice to have an advanced level or uh, baccalaureate. You must have the, these in a specific domains, right, or subjects that uh, you, you're looking for. They must be a prerequisite. Yeah. I mean, at least you should be able to read and write mm. in English and French. Mm -hmm. Okay. But for most of our programs, even if we feel like you do not have all the prerequisites, mm. there is also a preparation program, preparatory okay. classes okay. that we are running for our students in order to get them to the level where they can actually join our programs. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessary to have I don't know, a high grade at the GC level or the baccalaureate, but if you think that your actual goal, your actual aim in life, it is to build solutions based on IT, well, you can join ICT University because we are going to help you to reach that target, no matter how uh, hard it yeah, is. How hard it is. What about, uh, you know, the, my question is, is it about just being, a, you know, the love for ICT? Must you not be science inclined or arts inclined? Uh, I don't know which specific thing are you looking for? Um, is it for everybody? Is it a general knowledge or you must, you know, be science inclined? Uh, to tell you the truth, well, you don't really need to have a particular specialization. Okay. You just need to be strongly motivated. Okay. Strongly. Means like you join our programs, you follow our courses online or on site, you do the assignment, the assessments, and then you participate into our hands-on activities. Mm. That's the core of our activities there in ICT University. Okay, Mr. Vice Chancellor, any yes. last words? Yes, I want to add uh, another aspect mm -hmm. of uh, the university the emphasis on female training mm -hmm. in that domain. Mm -hmm. We think that it is very important to have female uh, who are well versed into that uh, segment of mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, we used to, the first batch had only two women in the ICT department. Mm -hmm. Today there are more than 200. So, and about 40% of the intake at ICT is female, uh, is in terms of we have, we're very sensitive to gender. Because the world of today uh, rests around that knowledge. Mm -hmm. When you uh, are sure that they are well educated, the family becomes mm -hmm. well educated, mm -hmm. the society becomes okay. well educated. And that's why I'm also very happy to announce here mm. that the Board of Trustees of ICT University is offering a full-scale, full-fledged scholarship to a lady called Bran Hilda Kawas, who I think at 43 uh, had her advanced level, GEC. Mm. So if she wishes, she will have a full-fledged scholarship f free of charge at ICT as an encouragement to female uh, scholarship, but also as an inclusive place where all who want to improve their lot are welcome. Mm. So that is a proof that uh, we are really uh, very much bent into having that realized. And if she's uh, listening to us, if she has somebody or people who know her, I think that uh, information should be conveyed to her. It is a firm offer and uh, we would be very happy 
if she accepts that. We also have ICT, as, as we, we said, but we also have the BMS, mm -hmm. Business Management and Sustainable Development Faculty. She can choose either of the two, and uh, she will be uh, uh, welcome at ICT. Mm, thank you very much, Prof. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's a coincidence because we are about to head uh, to Boya now. The lady you spoke of, she's 43 years old. She has had, had she had her advanced level uh, this year, and uh, you are offering her a golden opportunity to be part of the ICT family here in Yawunde.